We're definitely missing some treasure. But without the guidance and the maps, like, I just... I don't know if we're going to be able to find it. Alright, let's go. So these are all resistance fighters. One of them is Fergus, I believe. I wish I could just jump down and knife this guy, but unfortunately you can't. You just have to slowly hobble along this thing and then jump on the truck over there. Had to be a bit crazy, lol. I don't know. I think that they obviously knew a lot about World War II and the history of the Nazi, uh, the Third Reich. Um, so I think that they just used a lot of the cruelties that they were that you know it was already established they were doing, and just kind of amplified them to show you exactly how they happened, um, and have you actually perform or be witness to a lot of the actions, right? Like. They actually were... Yeah, but mostly just animating this would be weird. Yeah, I agree. But they did a beautiful job with it. I mean, it's crazy. The kind of desperation they show is really amazing. Especially this game in particular is really great. Tyranny. Enemy of endless might. So we're breaking into this prison, like the kind of idiot that we are. Comes down to it. I'll fight alone. But I promise you this. Friends. If this is where they're keeping you. If this is where they're keeping you. I will you. find you. And set you free. I love the music in this game. It's freaking great. Okay, we're gonna go up on the rooftop here, um, and we're trying. We're gonna obviously try not to get detected. But the other thing we're gonna be doing is looking for treasure around this area. I think that there's some collectibles that got like stored here that we missed last time, especially up on the roof. It's also almost impossible to get detected up here, so. You can kinda just run around and do whatever you want. <laughs> Which is kinda funny, like I'm jumping up and down on the roof and there's these, we're in the, one of the higher, highest security prisons in the world. <laughs> and these like high tech robots and people are just like standing there like there's nothing going on. Hello, it's me, BJ Blaskwitz, the most ruthless Nazi killer in the world. <laughs> A tad humorous. Alright. I guess there, yeah, I guess there's nothing stored up here. We die if we jump down there. Sneak up to the roof. Let's go ahead and recharge this if we uh, need to, yeah. Looks like we need to recharge it a bit. Can't really use it as a weapon yet, so. Doesn't really matter. I always feel like I'm missing something here. Like, I felt like there should have been some other collectible or something that they hid, but I guess maybe not. Guess maybe not. We're gonna try and sneak around and kill this guy. He aggroes really easily. And I believe we got caught by him last time. 
Or, or one of the people like him. Alright, we should be able to take this guy out. Yep, got him. Take his armor. Get a little bit of a health overcharge real quick. I think if we bash that open, we will uh, aggro the guards. So we're going to not make all that noise. We're going to look right here for some collectibles because this looks like a place they'd hide it. Doesn't look like they did, though. Alright, actually, we might, we might actually bash this open. Because these do seem like a kind of a place they might hide something. And we know for a fact that we're missing three treasures from this area. Just a bunch of ammunition. This will actually help quite a lot when we actually do get a gun. Here, finally. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Nothing. Nothing. It's nothing. Alright. Gefangene, vergessen Sie nicht, dass der Besitz verbotener Waren automatisch eine Strafverlängerung Should be able to grab this guy. He actually might turn around before we get to him, though. Mm, don't turn around, don't turn around. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Okay, got him. Yeah, we know there's a guy right over there. Um... I believe there's some treasure over here, and that's... Okay, so we just triggered the alarm somehow, not really sure how. I think that's why... Like, this area is actually over here? It's the only reason it really makes sense is if they were hiding something here. Possibly not, but... Like, there's nothing really over here, so I don't really understand why else there would be. I guess maybe so we could sneak around. It's also funny how these guys don't have, uh... They don't have guns. Randomly. Please stop shooting me. Very thank you. Very much. And the answer to why they don't have guns is obviously they designed this level to kind of let you sneak around to try and get in here like you actually would have to. But it would be impossible to sneak through here almost if you had... if they had guns. No collectibles. Damn. Oh, this guy might spot us, actually. <laughs> we knifed a little bit too early. We got trigger happy. And get through there. If this were dishonor, we could pick that guy up and throw him in the trash can so he wouldn't be spotted. Oh, there's people in there. See, when we're in the Wyatt timeline, we can pick this lock and get in there. Um, this way, I'm not really sure how we're supposed to get in here. If we even can. There's definitely a dude. Like, the dude's sitting right here. Hm. Weird. Very odd.
Because I feel like there has to be a way to get in there. That's the dog patrolling around. I feel like there has to be a way to get in there, right? Because there's loot and stuff in there. And there's like lore, and I think there's an enigma piece as well. But it doesn't look like they... Maybe we have to alert them or something? Maybe just in this timeline we can't get in there. It's kind of weird though. Hmm. Very strange. Oh shit, that actually killed us. Huh. I'm not expecting that. <laughs> Oops. I think we're gonna go try and go into this double doors though, real quick. Oh wow. Bad news below. Safe remove across the rooftop undetected. Stay off the ground. This put us all the way back here. But it shouldn't be too problematic though, because. Obviously, we know where to and to not look this time, so. Let's grab this guy again. There's also a, there's also a dog right there. Remember that if you resist correction, you will be subjected to the full force of our legal authority permits. Which is the full force. Sorry, dog. Hmm. Alright, so we still can't get in there. Let's, um... Let's go look in that area that we... Died at last time. But let's, let's actually go around the right way. Like this. Can't get in there. Okay. Good enough. Got some extra health. And let's go trigger a cutscene. Dang. Kind of upset we can't get in here. Alright. Too bad. Run, you fool! And uh, hastily cut that wire. It's also this random mouse that we follow in this one. It's kind of interesting. Oh, we can actually cut this wire. What? I had no idea we could get down here. It's kind of cool. Is there anything actually down here? Oh, more health and more armor. And the final enigma piece. Nice. So that is the last one for this area. It's the one of the three that we missed. That was the last one. And we managed to find it completely accidentally by just cutting through this wire. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. So we're now breaking into the prison. Or... I thought we were. Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. It's 
Sorry, bud. We do need to keep our eyes out for treasure as well, and we still obviously are trying to find the map. Oh, this is where we... Oh. This is where we... The dog went after us. No, this is where we came down initially. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's go up. Hear this dude whistling. <laughs> you will be dead in just a moment. Hate to kill a guy while he's using the restroom, but um... Sorry, buddy. What a weird way to kill a guy. <laughs> Why not just knife this guy? Oh, there we go, okay. Flush the toilet just to make it sound realistic. I feel like there has to be loot in these other stalls. I feel like that must be one of the things we missed. Maybe not. We're gonna go through- we're gonna kill everyone then do a full loop of this area again. Sorry doggy. In the back of the skull, wow. Yep. He would've had to go through- I guess he- I guess he did it right at the um separation point of his, uh... That killed him? What? Just whack him on the head? Of his vertebra? I mean, not his vertebra. He, he did it right <laughs> underneath God, the bed. You're dead. No. Not on my PY boots. <laughs> not on my boots. Right? I know. Oh, there's, there's a piece of something. Scientist, Manhattan livable in just five years! In only five years, Manhattan will be livable again. But this is because they dropped the atomic bomb on Manhattan, obviously, so it's kind of similar to, um... Similar to how Hiroshima and, stuff and Nagasaki were after the atomic bomb was dropped. People couldn't live in them for a pretty extended period of time. This technology could finally make atom bombs safer to use without destroying the environment, said Professor Johan Trudit Trude during this morning's press conference. Okay. Yep. 8 times 9 equals 72. Times 7 plus 2 equals 9. That doesn't seem like good math. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, see you later, Egan. Or see you in a bit, should I say. This, um, I feel like this is some sort of code. Because 72 times 9 obviously is not 9. Weird. Oh, we got a key! What is this a key to? Okay, so there's another guy we need to kill. Let's, let's try going out. Oh, this is a key to this door, maybe. No? Huh. What could it be a key to? Grab his armor, we don't need any armor. Make sure we look on all these beds for collectibles that we missed. Doesn't really say what that's a key to. Oh, one of these lockers? Oh, there is definitely a collectible in here. Damn, just health? That sucks. I got all excited, chat! Maybe that what? No, no, it doesn't look like it. Maybe that was the key to the locker after we removed the chain. I don't know. Just don't. Just don't. Know. All right, here's another. Here's the last commander as well. Let's go ahead and kill him. Gotta be the laziest bunch of guards the world has ever seen. The lazy? They're all asleep. All the guards are asleep. Which is pretty funny.
Let's grab all the loot in here. There's definitely some collectibles hidden around here. There's no way there's not. Especially with that, them giving us that key. Although I guess the key could have just been to the locker. Which would be very important. Very unfortunate. Uh, let's go again, go look back where we were. Oh, that's why we needed the key. Because in the last playthrough, we locked, we picked this lock. But you can't do that in this playthrough, obviously, because we don't have the lock picking capability. Which, again, is a bit strange. But fine, I guess. Up and around and kill these guys, I guess. Try not to get run over by the big bulldozer thing. Let's go ahead and recharge while we're here. Oh, we're already we're already fully charged. Just kidding. You know what? There's treasure down here. That this is where we missed it. There must be. Probably in this incinerator thing right here. No? He did, did he just call me swine? That'd be ironic. Oops. Where is he? There he is. Oh, this guy is... has a lot of health. Oh, interesting. This does seem like an ideal spot for treasure to be. Because there's this whole elaborate downstairs area that doesn't really have any purpose. Besides looking cool. Maybe we can hack one of these with our... Oh! There it is! Golden nugget. Okay, let's uh, check. Mm, so I think we actually might have missed these two, unfortunately. 